Welcome back everyone to Tater Tanks. Today I am playing the TVP 5051 on the map Siegfried Line. We are playing in assault mode. We are the offensive team. I have made my way into the bottom middle of the map. Mostly because as a medium tank with no armor, this is the only place on the map that I actually know how to do anything with. <laughs> Uh, the other side where the Udez 03 is on the mini-map, I just find it's just too... Uh, too much of the enemy can sit in the back and snipe, and I have no armor to do anything about those shots. So I've found I have much better results if I stay on this side of the map and just uh, play things out and see how things go. So you can see we had a bit of a bad start there with our clip gun. Only one out of four shots that we know hit. We'll have to check later on if that last shot hit that WT or if it missed. And uh, now we're loaded up again already, though. It's a very short reload on this tank, which is one of its strong points. But now we're just going to go back and forth here, just wait it out and see if we can find more of the enemy team and also if we can get someone to spot because if I run in I know I'm dead right away because I just have zero armor and they have three tanks waiting there for me so we're just gonna play it out you can see the enemy team has made it around the top of the mini map the 140 and I believe the leopard prototype a are gonna be coming around soon and so we have the 704 and the STRV they are moving to take care of that so because of that I didn't feel the need to leave I saw others were making that push already, so I decided to stay here and try to find these guys sitting in the back over here. We saw that bush move, and now we've spotted the K-Panzer 50 ton. So we're going to fall back. I don't want to take any unnecessary shots from that WT Panzer IV sitting in the back at J0. We're off to a not a good start. They've got... They've come around the back side. They've got one of our artilleries already. And it's one to three. So not looking too good. But because we have the STRV and the Batchat and the 704 sitting along the middle there, you can see very soon here that that will start to turn. Just like that. And right away, that gives the 140 probably a lot less confidence that he can make that push. And things are starting to even out a little bit. I have to apologize, too, for not posting last week. Our basement renovations, <laughs> they're coming along and we're almost there, but it's still been a lot of work and I just didn't have the time to play and make content for videos like this or to edit them. So hopefully that changes in the next little bit. Again, having a bit of bad luck with or bad RNG with our shots. Put two at the scent, scent action 10 and just only one out of four have hit or penned. So we're only at 694 spotted damage. And there you can see on the mini-map the 140 is gone now. So that flank has been taken care of. And we can continue without having to keep that in the back of our minds. So while we load up, I'm just going to try to do some spotting. But for now it's bad, but later it's good. There, those trees got knocked down right in front of me. And that's keeping me from spotting anyone hiding around the pond in the back. But, lucky for me, I find the gorilla. <laughs> and again, only one out of four shots penetrates. And so I've been a bit frustrated in the game at this point. The whole point of the TVP is its incredible burst damage, four shots in less than four seconds. And I'm only hitting one out of four that are doing any damage. So, up till now, we don't have great damage output, but at least we haven't taken any damage either. So our trade is still positive, even if our shell count isn't. You can see now finally someone is pushing in as we've slowly gained a small lead over the enemy team. The FV215B is coming up and I've told him I'll do my best to support him. So while he's taking some shots, I'm able to put all four finally into the standard B. And there's 1,326 damage, I think it was. But unfortunately, the FV is also gone. That K-Panzer and the WT were unspotted long enough to take him out. 
And now I'm just on reload, so I want to stay behind the hill. Get, I got spotted, which I was hoping not to. And now that I'm reloaded, now I feel like it's the time to push. Everyone on the enemy team has been spotted except for artillery. So I know that there's only the gorilla in the back. Even if he hits me, I can take one shot and still put out more damage than I take. So there I finally get all my shots in. And that is where keeping my HP to the end of the game came in handy because I knew I could take that trade and still come out on top. But now the K-Panzer might try pushing me, so I've got to try to hide. It gets one into me. Well, I'm, I'm almost done with the reload. So now we're going to try to get him. And we took another shot, but we got some spotting in. And now I have some shots left for the WT, who I was missing before as well. And just like that, now that we've actually got some clip shots in, more than one out of one clip, we are looking much better with our damage. We're at 3.6k plus that potential blind shot on the WT. And now I'm just really hoping I can reload in time to get at least one more shot in on these guys. And once this T92 was gone, I thought there's no way I can hit that STRV. But I was reloaded and I decided, you know what, he's up on, uh, on the hill, I'll try it. And just like that, I got one more shot in. So we're at, we, on our counter, we get just over 4k, which was a good feeling to get. Take a quick look at the results here. And you can see that blind shot did connect. So I have, I'm at 4.3k damage. That puts me in the top two in damage and top in XP in my team. Usually with these higher damage games, it's a tier eight matchup, but this time it was tier nine and 10. So I was really happy with that. Thank you all for watching. We will see you all in the next one.